policy and politics with me tarun nangya it is an indeed an emotional day for us we have lost one of indian film industry's first superstars dilip kumar and he left behind so many memories which we'll cherish for our lifetime because unlike for others we can always log into our favorite app and watch all his movies scenes whether it is on youtube or on other places he is accessible to us around us all the time that is the magic of movies that you leave behind memories which people can cherish forever and ever and today i am going to talk of a movie called shakti in which dilip kumar essayed the role of a police commissioner and uh, i the starting scene he is at the railway station receiving his grandson who is visiting him and he tells him that asks him first that do you want to become a police officer upon which when he says yes uh, that um, that you know i want to become a police commissioner like you he shares with him all the difficulties that a police officer faces in the end anil kapoor who is essaying the role of grandson in the movie shakti says yes that is the story and today we are going to do this take from a real police officer or a real police commissioner to a real police commissioner the real police officer and the commissioner being neeraj kumar who as we all know has served as the police commissioner of delhi to the real police officer which was uh, dilip kumar who has said that role uh mr kumar thank you so much for sparing your time and joining us on policy and politics today thank you first It's come first yeah please first come first your first comments on dilip kumar oh it is a, <clears throat> a great honor first of all to be on this program which is on dilip kumar saab he is easily one of the greatest uh, actors not only of uh, hindi cinema but of world cinema and he can be compared to the greatest uh, actors uh, of the world whether it is uh, laurence olivier or uh, tito to <clears throat> or uh, there's so many of them and uh, he uh, was a master of what is called method acting he is to get into his roles in such depth that uh, he would become that character and as you perhaps know that uh, having played a few tragic roles he went into acute depression and after which he was advised by a psychiatrist to switch to lighter roles if he wanted to feel better so he was that kind of actor and in whatever role you put him he excelled uh, he shone and uh, uh each role of his was memorable and as you rightly said shakti is one of the most memorable roles that he played shakti one of the most memorable movies of the 80s and i know a lot of people are going to go back and watch it on uh, youtube or one of these apps uh, after the show is shown uh, i also want to ask you that in this movie particularly uh, dilip kumar who is the commissioner of police is telling his grandson that uh, life of a police officer is very hard also uh, you end up doing your duty every day and in that process you end up making up enemies just because you're doing your duty nothing personal and that is why he tells his grandson that think again if you want to become a police officer because it's not all a bed of roses you will end up making enemies in your line of duty and unnecessarily you will be troubled do you relate to what dilip kumar saab said or would you digress no no i fully relate to what has been shown in the movie uh, in the course of your work uh, you do take on people who are uh, hardened criminals uh, but my experience has been a little different my experience has been that you know most criminals and most gangsters they have a healthy respect for the police Absolutely. they feel that the police officer has nothing personally against me he is only doing his duty and uh, they would never take it personally but in my experience uh, i felt that white collar criminals you know they somehow take it uh, personally and uh, then they get after you and they try to settle scores with you they have money power with them 
once they come out on bail then they can uh, hound you and uh, i am a personal i am myself a victim of one such uh, tirade that a white collar criminal uh, launched has launched against me and even though there have been 8 years that uh, i have retired from service uh, he continues to file cases in courts and i still have to face them and the tragic part of it is that uh, i have to face those litigations at my own cost so you are saying that it is indeed true that this may happen and in your career has been actually uh, a trail blazer from being investigating the 1993 bomb blast cases uh, to the calcutta blast case which all of course you have written about in your book dial d for don uh, which uh, i must tell all my viewers is a must read uh, and you can go and pick your copy any moment and you can just start it's a very easy to read book uh, mr neeraj kumar i want to know from you on these issues uh, it's it's really in the gray zone yeah? you, you you may end up making enemies and you may suffer yes uh, as i said uh, you can and many police officers have suffered they have suffered in their jobs they have suffered uh, but then that does not mean that uh, it's a job not worth taking is it uh, it's a job full of thrills full of adventures every day is a new day full of challenges uh, you know every day brings with it uh, uh, new challenges and uh, you uh, lead a very eventful life you can do hell of a lot for common people people who suffer at the and uh, hands of uh, criminals you can uh, get them justice uh, so on and so forth and if you are not up to the mark if you are not good in your in your job you fail in your duty to get common people uh, justice which is uh, very tragic now as we saw dilip kumar uh, wearing a green uniform with a band on which there are bullets uh, and with all his insignias and everything in place and when we walks in the movie uh, to any young boy and ma- many young boys are watching the show right now he looks like a rock star or if you see the newer age movies wearing ray ban aviators coming in big suvs wherever they go everybody starts saluting them so when they walk it looks like a rock star is walking somebody who is ruling somebody who is admired by everyone somebody who is looked up to somebody who is very fit see on all these movies officers are never shown as having a lot of big stomach they are all very fit officers in many times they also have big bulging arms uh, you know they are very fit so that is one part second they are fetted and respected wherever we go be it a social occasion be it some gathering be it any normal place where there are 30 people when an officer walks he is received as a star is it only in the movies or do you think it's a part of real life when a young boy walks into uh, 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 say this job is is it something that he should expect i want to tell your viewers and especially the youngsters who aspire to be police officers that uh, you lead the life of a rock star not throughout your career there are certain assignments that uh, you might get in which you are really a rock star in which you are uh, in the public eye whatever you do uh, is reported in the media your successes are uh, read uh, heard and fated by people uh, so quite a few assignments in your job you will uh, feel like a rock star people will treat you like a rock star uh, rock star but there are only a few assignments bulk of your life you will be doing jobs either from behind the scenes where your achievements will not be reported in the media uh, or you may be doing desk jobs administrative jobs uh, so uh, do not go with expectation that from the word go to the day you retire you will uh, lead the life uh, the life of a rock star yes on certain occasions certain assignments you will get that feeling but at the same time even when you are behind the scenes you will be doing very very important jobs and very self satisfying self gratifying 
uh, assignments and uh, you can at the end of your successful career you can uh, uh, go back a very satisfied man and i am i can say that i am blessed to to be one such officer okay uh, of course we all know that uh, when you were uh, you had eminent positions uh, commissioner of police delhi uh, you were also uh, in the cbi for one of the longest stints 10 12 years uh, but i want to uh, take you to another uh, story of real life action some young officers today uh, the names i can recount is shivdeep lande when he was leaving his place of posting people came no no we don't want him to be transferred he's one of the officers you can see who's like singam who has got Uh, big bulging arms exercises 3 hours every day second i remember uh, pimpri chinchwad uh, police commissioner krishna pokash he is a triathlon runner 120 kilometers of walking running cycling swimming all of that included and of course recently he was in news because he you know uh, disguised himself in some kind of a uh, uh, you know big uh, beard and all of that entered five six police stations i started talking to officers to see whether they are receptive now i know in your time they have you done all of this as in you disguise yourself you entered police stations you went somewhere you know something which youngsters also like to see that okay there is a thrill in this job the officer just disguises himself and lands up at places and to check whether his staff is working well all these things in a sense bring some excitement like is this a done thing or it rarely happens well i can't say it's a done thing but uh... since you, you asked me whether i have done that uh, i have done that on a couple of occasions and i will give you a, an example uh, i used to be deputy commissioner of police traffic in delhi uh, in 1985 86 and uh, there were complaints that uh, some traffic policemen were extorting money from truck drivers so uh, i boarded a truck at uh, the delhi border shingu border i remember it and uh, i saw how at places the truck was stopped and uh, traffic constables uh, demanded money and how the money was given and uh, i kept noting all those details and of course uh, later uh, we took action against those policemen uh, number of times you walk into police stations unannounced uh, in plain clothes the duty officer does not recognize you because you are in plain clothes and you have gone there unannounced and you pretend to be uh, a okay. member of public who has come to lodge a complaint and uh, so on and so forth so yes you do that once in a while to get uh, a feel of what is actually happening uh, so uh, yes i mean to answer your question i have done that myself and it was uh, well received it was also reported in newspapers and uh, police officers uh, uh, they do well to pose as ordinary people and uh, go into police station and see how they are received okay okay so this has been happening for some time it's not that it's a recent phenomenon no 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 we will again go back to the movie shakti in which uh, we could see dilip dilip kumar advising his grandson not to join the police forces uh, mr niraj kumar would you also advise the same to your grandson it's a tough life don't join the police forces no i won't i won't because uh, <clears throat> i'll tell him all the pluses and all the minuses uh, and uh, i'll let him know that it is a very satisfying very thrilling uh, very adventurous uh, job it's not a run of the mill job of a pen pusher or a, a paper pusher uh, you are out in the field uh, you do very meaningful work you help the poorest of the people uh, get them justice and it can be a very very satisfying job okay i want to know from you uh, what do you feel about bollywood's portrayal of policemen's life as very glamorous these days you see a lot of action movies policemen go and beat up everyone uh, they show up in very good clothes and suddenly you know they are swinging from one end of the room to another throwing tables is it even 10% as glamorous when you are in that real action because you as an officer seem to have investigated really high profile cases 
uh, <clears throat> it is quite adventurous. There's no doubt about that. But uh, movies, uh, not only in Bollywood but also across okay. the world, they show police officers in uh, such roles. And uh, suffice it to say that uh, police jobs, uh, a police job is a very interesting job. And there are thrills, there are adventures. There is always a risk to your life. You do go for operations. For instance, my colleagues in Kashmir, for instance, almost every day uh, they take the risk of, uh, you know, uh, losing their lives when they go out for operations. I've had the occasion of uh, leading several uh, operations in which uh, I could have been shot or I could have been killed. So uh, those risks are there. It's full of thrill, but maybe not as dramatic uh, and as fantastic. You say, uh, yeah. Officer takes a flight, goes to a foreign location where he makes really high profile people. He's negotiating some extradition for his own country. In that process, he comes to know about secrets which he can never tell anyone. So does police officer have secrets which he can never tell anyone? Well, uh, <laughs> it is very close to one of my operations when I went to Dubai to get uh, Aftab Ansari, who was wanted in a terror attack in Calcutta. And uh, well, we traced him, we got him arrested. Uh, we informed uh, the government back home. A special uh, plane came to get us back. So we negotiated the uh, extradition or shall we say deportation of that man. He was brought here. I was received at the airport by very senior officers and uh, it was very big news. And today, Aftab Ansari uh, is on the death row, languishing in Alipur jail. So there have been several such uh, operations that I've done, which were not only within the country, but with uh, international or shall we say transnational. So I've had a fair share of uh, uh, international uh, investigation and the yes. thrill of uh, doing them as well. But when officers like you, uh, when they, in a sense, uh, superannuate, are they, I mean, do you know things which a common man can never ever know, a perspective of life which no other businessman or anyone would have? Absolutely. Any number of such secrets, any number of such experiences that go with you to the grave. You can never share them. So, and yes, any number of them, any number of such. So it's not one odd, it's many. Many, many. Okay. Any so, so you mean you have seen a dimension of life which majority of the Indians can't? That is true. That is true. And that in itself makes this uh, job rewarding of, of that being able to see a life from a very different standpoint than most people? That is true. That is absolutely true. So, going back to uh, Dilip Kumar Saab in that sense, uh, what would be your memories of him in terms of his portrayal in his movies or any nuggets about him? Oh, I had uh, the occasion of meeting him personally. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, there were, of course, two, three other people also, but it was at a uh, senior officer, senior colleague's residence. And there were just three or four of us uh, sitting. Uh, a dining table and we had a very long chat and he is most amazing most charming person uh, and uh, I have the most pleasant uh, memories of his uh, that meeting and there's no doubt that uh, he was an outstanding actor and each one of his movies is a classic uh, and he will continue to live in the hearts of uh, the Indian fans, not only Indian fans, fans across the globe for a long, long, long time to come. Salim Javed was the writer of his movie Shakti. Uh, uh, any memories about them? Because I know you have a fair interest in Bollywood uh, and also writing, singing scripts. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I happened to meet uh, Farhan Akhtar, who is uh, Mr. Javed Akhtar's son at a cricket stadium in Calcutta, and he asked me, when he came to know that I'm a police officer, he asked me that, which is the best cop movie you know, that I have seen? And uh, I was quick to say it was Shakti. 
and then he asked me what about shakti then i told him you know the conflict that any upholder of the law has in his life and how i as a police officer could relate to that role and that character and how i can never forget uh, uh, that film and also the fact that it was written by his uh, father and initially he thought that i am i took shakti's name because uh, it was written by his father co-written by his father i said nothing of the sort the script was of course outstanding but the overall theme and the subject itself was so appealing and so close to my heart that i can never forget it uh, so uh, one last question would be uh, 98 he lived up to 98 he was actively working roughly say up to 75 76 he could active then he was of course in film awards where he was petted uh, had a fairly big life socially also big politicians uh, uh you know it was a good relationship be it bala sahab thakre of bombay who they claimed to be each other's friends and they had fairly good interactions bombay was a different city and you know better than anyone else in the 90s and the 2000s do you think he's in a sense lived a full life 98 to live up to 98 and so successful oh yes what we should uh, not forget that he was a man of letters you know he was very knowledgeable in urdu and urdu poetry urdu literature he was also a great singer acha yes there is a film called musafir and uh, in which he has himself sung a song opposite lata mangeshkar which you must uh, hear it is on youtube okay and you won't believe that uh, it is he who is uh, singing he was a trained singer and he could have very easily made singing his career uh so he was a man of many parts and uh, lived a very colorful life a very <clears throat> eventful life and uh, a life that will be long remembered and perhaps never forgotten so that this is it for you uh, from a real police officer a tribute to a real police officer which is dilip kumar saab indeed uh, viewers would have enjoyed uh, your narrations on this issue and uh, there is something for the viewers to take back from the roles that dilip kumar has said and your experiences which you have shared with us on the show and also in your book dial d for dawn uh, i would like to thank you for sparing your time and joining us uh, today on policy and politics and i'd like to thank all my viewers for watching this show thank you so much thank you For more such videos subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel hit the bell icon